Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today, guys, what I want to talk about is basically how to play as Hayes. Hayes, it says here, is great for new players, which I agree with that. Um, Hayes was very, very easy for me to pick up and use. Um, so at this part of the video, we're just going to talk about kind of abilities, how you use them. Then we're going to talk about the build and the build kind of mechanics into the abilities. This is a beginner guide. This isn't for somebody who already knows what they're doing, looking for very, very fine gameplay mechanics or mechanics specifically linked to Haze. This is not that video. This is for somebody who just wants a quick, very informative video talking about how to play Haze so then they can go and play Haze themselves and kind of have, you know, immediate success playing that. So Haze says they're great for new players. We're going to quickly go over Haze's abilities. So basically, your Q, well, I call it Q, so we'll, we'll just refer to it as the Sleep Dagger. The Sleep Dagger basically just puts them to sleep, does a tiny bit of damage, and as soon as you shoot them, they wake up pretty much instantly. It does scale with Spirit Power, however, not that much really, guys. Um, the wake up time just does not scale at all. It's got a tiny, tiny modifier of like 0.001% or something like that. But but to keep things simple, you throw your sleep dagger out, it puts them to sleep. That's it. That's all you're doing. You know, when you're using this ability, if you're playing duos, you can, you know, just tell your duo player, you're going to, you know, throw the sleep dagger, you're going to cue them, or one is what the default keybind is, and then you can go run right near them and then just eliminate them as soon as you start shooting them. Um, so that's that one. Your E is your smoke bomb. So basically you become invisible and you gain a slight amount of spin sprint speed. Now, once you attack the enemies, um, it removes invisibility. However, close enemies can see through your invisibility, which kind of, it's not really that clear, isn't it? That yes, I'm invisible, but if I get really close to them, I'm not invisible. A bit strange that ha ha kind of how they describe it. So anyway, that's the E. Then you've got Fixation, which is, in my opinion, the number one ability you should be leveling up behind your um, ultimate, which is Bullet Dance. So Fixation, and this is kind of like Hazer's bread and butter, is that shooting at a target increases your bullet damage on that target. You gain one stack per bullet hit or two if the hit is a headshot. Now, this is what you're going to be wanting to max second behind the ultimate ability. The ultimate ability is Bullet Dance. So you enter into a flurry, firing your weapon at nearby enemies with perfect accuracy. During the flurry, Hayes gains a fire rate bonus and will evade some of the bullets shot at her. So you're going to see later on in this video, this ultimate is very, very powerful. Um, it's my favorite ultimate in the game. Maybe Seven's ultimate is really, really good as well. Um, but yeah, I do really, really enjoy playing Hayes, and I think she's one of the most fun characters to actually play in this game. So I want to talk now about... Oh, it doesn't actually let you click on those. And we're going to have to quickly go to the shop. So there's a few things you're going to want to use on Hayes. Actually, we're probably better off going into... Um, where is it now? Resources. What? What is it? Sandbox mode. So if we're going to sandbox mode, we can actually show you the build I actually use. It is a build which you can just use if somebody else is in the game. This is kind of one of the great things about this game. You can basically import builds from anybody in the game. So if you want to browse builds on any character, you can just click browse builds and then you can go on to you know the public builds and then you can favorite whichever one you like. And personally, I prefer this one a bit lower down just because it's fun. It's not the meta, but it's fun. This is fun. This video is for beginners. It's for people who just want to have as much fun as possible. And I think this build here is that fun build. Um, so quick couple of things about this build. And then obviously we're going to have gameplay and I'm going to kind of try to talk very informally um, while we do so. So Hayes, she is very, well, as, as we've already said, a passive, well, a, a C ability, number three, whatever you're going to keybind it as, which is called fixation, you kind of want to have as much ammo as possible to kind of, you know, stack that damage as, as well as you can. And the basic magazine does that brilliantly. You get 24% ammo, 15% weapon damage. Then I go for monster rounds. 
Um, you get 35% weapon damage versus um, NPCs, which is great when you're laning. Again, these are early game items, so at the beginning of the game, you're just going to be sat in lane trying to you know last hit or whatever you want to call it to get as much money as possible. Then I actually like to get sprint boost, sorry, sprint boots, so I can actually chase people down, so I get two meters per second sprint speed. Gives you a tiny bit of health regen, which is nice in early game. And that's pretty much it for early game. Those are kind of the three ones you want to be looking at. Normally what I do, I don't run back immediately for the first 500. I tend to wait until I've got 1,000, um, and then I'll go back when I've got 1,750, which will allow me to finish off sprint boots, and then I'll get some bullet lifesteal just for sustain in lane. Because at this time in the lane, you're going to probably start getting a bit low. You might have killed the enemy laners a few times. However, you're going to have no real lifesteal um, or health regen at all with Haze. But once you get this bullet life. Um, bullet lifestyle, I'm going to say. Bullet lifesteal It's going to allow you to stay in the lane. Obviously, you've got the minions who can heal you up in the lane every single wave, but sometimes that is not enough. So then what I tend to do, I don't really listen to that and rush Ricochet as soon as I can because it's 6,300. It is something we will get. However, at this part of the game, I actually like to get improved cooldown because I want to be using my ultimate, my X ability. Um, there you go. Bullet dance as much as possible. Um, and I'm also going to be wanting to use, when I buy um, Quicksilver Reload, I'm going to be wanting to use my Smoke Bomb because I'm going to bind, because it says there, imbue an ability with bonus spirit damage on the first hit. When the ability is used, your weapon is reloaded and a fire rate bonus for that clip. Now, the thing is with Haze, that works really, really well with Haze's kicks. Again, you've already got this fixation, what stacks damage based on um, the amount of times you're firing a bullet at somebody, as you can see there, it says 0 0.2 per stack weapon damage. So once you've already got a basic magazine, which gives you more ammo, you're going to be able to fire a full magazine into somebody. And then instead of having to reload, you can, as I said, I imbue this, I link it, whatever you want to call it, to smoke bomb. So once I've fired, I don't know, at this rate, I'll probably have a, a, a magazine at this point of about 50 bullets. I'll fire 50 bullets, then I can press E to go invisible, but I'm not really bothered about going invisible. That's just kind of what I'm binding it to, um, so I can run up to them. I go invisible, and then I immediately reload as soon as I use this ability. So that gives you massive, massive damage potential, um, which is really, really good. Now, I personally don't use slowing X. At this point in the game, once I've already got all this, and again, obviously, the duration extender as well, or make sure your ultimate's up more often. That's kind of why I use that. That's 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 the only real reason I get duration extender. Yes, it's nice for your smoke bomb to last longer, but really, you're just getting it for that. Um, then, what I tend to do at this point Depends how well I'm going in lane, guys. You know, if I'm dominating, I'll stay out and I'll try to get Ricochet as quickly as possible. However, if not, I will get Titanic Magazine because this will increase your ammo from 25 to 50 because you've already got the basic magazine, but then you're going to be putting on the Titanic Magazine. If you don't really understand builds on this game, how it actually works, you have some of these builds what actually link to other things. So you can see there with the little icons what they are. So Superior Cooldown goes to improved cooldown, um, enduring speed, which we will get eventually because that starts off with sprint boots. So it's kind of how it works in this game. Um, so once you've done all that, you've got your ricochet. Sorry, once you've got your Titanic magazine, it's like, well, what do I want to do? I always go, let's just back it up a minute. So I always go basic magazine, Monster Rams. That's the first time I run back with a thousand gold or souls or sorry, whatever you call it. Then I will wait until I've got 1,750 on most situations. However, sometimes if I've got no health, I'll run back and obviously buy something first. Um, so that's what we'll do then. And then these I'll pretty much run back every single time I've got 1,250. Then I'll miss that. I will then depending on the situation, but nine times out of 10, I'll go and buy Titanic magazine because then I just never run out of bullets. And at that point in the game, I'm just a god. However, if you're not doing very well, guys, and you're getting killed in your ulti, as it says here, you can stack some more health regen, make yourself a bit tankier. But fun on this game for me is just being a glass cannon. And funnily enough, you've actually got something down here, which is called glass cannon, um, which gives you 70% extra weapon damage, which Again, 
This is all the basic stuff here. You're going to pretty much want to get this every single time, along with Titanic Magazine. And then the rest of them, you know, you can just mix and match, do whatever you want. So that's that part of the video out of the way. And we're just going to show you some of this now in a gameplay scenario. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so we will do a full gameplay commentary. So I've already told you most of what I need to tell you. So I don't have to go over everything. So again, we want to unlock fixation as soon as possible, which we will. Again, the ability's priority is fixation for one point. Well, just to unlock that first, but then it's X every single time. So we are laying in with the cat lady, as I call her. We're not really going to talk about gameplay mechanics as such. Again, you don't really need to push the lanes that hard. You just wait until the last hits. Always try to get their, their last hits. Well, their souls. But again, we are playing against bots here just because I want to show you the basic mechanics of how to use Haze. This game down a bit. They tend to run off after a bit. We don't really want to go too, too gun-ho on them. Okay, they've actually killed him. Chased him down. I always try to get the ones what are going to heal first. If you don't know what the healing minions are, those ones there with a little flag on. That's kind of what you want to be prioritizing if you can. Amazing, I'm reloading as those bubbles go up. Get a bit of damage on the tower. Next wave is coming. Oh, I just missed that minion. So we're going to actually unlock now our Q. We've actually got another point as well. We're going to put that in C, as I said earlier. So we've actually got the Sleep Dagger, which the hitbox on the Sleep Dagger is bigger than what you think it is. It's actually really, really big. Again, bothered about minions. That's all I want to do, minions. So we've got a 1,000 souls. We'll probably just put a bit of damage in here. And then we'll go back. Okay, they're playing it a bit risky. Yep, stupid bot. You should have brought Wraith. Again, the thing is with the souls, because we're playing bots, we don't really need to shoot our own souls because the bots never do it. Always worth meleeing them as well. Some of the minions sometimes. So again, it's suggesting E, but we've only got one point to level up, so we're going to use that just to try to unlock one of everything at this point in the game. Got 1,500. We'll clear this lane. Then we'll go back. Go go and buy some gear now. We've got 1,800, so we're just going to buy one of everything. Whoops, wrong side. Allow me to step good. Someone's going to be bleeding on the concrete. So we've already explained what these do. So we've got some sustain now. Well, a bit more sustain. We one more health regen. Doesn't really make much difference at this part of the game. Dodge that. I don't know what my lane mate is doing. Okay, we're going to jump up here, try to shoot some of these, see if we can get a little bonus. 15 max HP, which is nice. Okay, another 15 max HP. Okay, that's, that's fairly helpful. Oh, I thought that were going to hit them. So we've got another point here. So we're going to want to unlock C. C is what we should prioritize unless we've got the option to actually upgrade our um, ultimate ability. So we're not doing not doing anything too stupid at this point in the game. Okay, they're dead. Put them to sleep with our sleep night night dagger. Put a bit of damage into him. We've got 1,200 now, so 1,250. We can go and buy another item, which, again, this time, bullet lifesteal. We will not die now. We've got kind of 
past the very, very early phase. Try to push the objective. The objectives do have extra damage on the head. You can tell because of the outline, the glow. much going off here. We can't really dive them. Just try to get them down a bit. So we've got our X ability now. Just got knocked up. Get out of there. Heal a bit more up and then we will dive. Oh, we've actually... Okay, they've actually dived them. I'm actually playing a bit more passive than I would normally. Let's see if we can get him here. Almost. We just had to put a few bullets into the end. But again, you know, just come in bots like I have and just get used to the abilities. Haze is incredibly fun. Haze is really, really good at ganking as well. So if you want to swap lanes for a brief period, you can use your smoke bomb, which is the E abilities you can see on my screen. But I'm just going to get rid of this now. Get some nice, some more souls. Not really going to talk about movement abilities. That's not the point of this video. So improved cooldown, which is good for us. We're going to get our ultimate ability, the X. I call it ultimate ability. I don't know what they, what they even call it on this game. Just got to be a bit careful here. We're against two of them, both with full health. Yeah, we're all right. More point in our X while we just got a bit of downtime. I don't know why the bots use that. Got to be a bit careful. There's two of them. There's only one of me. Don't need to go silly. We are getting pushed now because we're in a 1v2 situation. Actually, we don't want to we don't want to get them too low yet because they'll base. Okay, you're here. Did we get the last hit? No, we didn't. Okay, you're dead as well in a minute. There we go. Okay, we're starting to get clearly more powerful than who we're laning against now. Quicksilver Reload. So, as I said, we're going to bind that to E. And you're going to see this in action. This is kind of one of the coolest things. So, we've got a bit of downtime. We can level up. I'm going to level up my E next. See, the thing is, putting an extra point in that gives me 15 second cooldown. It's kind of what I want at this stage. Okay, he's going to be in serious trouble now. Because I can get through 40 bullets. Then I press E. And I've got another 40 bullets and boom, you're dead. That is why that is so powerful, guys. Okay, we're going for you because we've got our E back up. Plus we get more bullets. And we get a fire rate increase. Now I've got to back out. My aim isn't great, guys. I'm, a, I'm afraid. Sorry. But you're not coming here for me aim. You've come here just to learn about this this um, fun character. Just drop back a bit now. Get some heals. Again, we've got bullet life steal, so there we go. Just nicked 120 gold off them. Okay. My partner's there. Can we get a double kill here? We didn't even get a kill. Okay, we've just used our ability. We're going to get a double kill anyway. I was just about to melee him. Okay, 
Let's clear these minions up now. Not my best game I've had, but I'm trying to kind of play and talk at the same time and kind of trying to help people. Um, so, we've got 3,000 souls here. We could go Duration Extender or we could go Titanic Magazine. Because I've got 3,000, I actually want to go for Titanic Magazine Duration Extender. Yeah, it makes me ult last longer, but on this suggestion... We're probably going to level here as well because we get six seconds, six meters per second. So we normally run at 10. Watch at this. 17, 16, 17, 18 movement speed. And then we just run into that because I'm not even looking. So we've got him. Should get you as well. I'm just going to reload while we're up. Remember, we've got Titanic Magazine, so... We just never run out of ammo. Look. Oh, we haven't got Titanic Magazine. We can't have Titanic Magazine. We've only got 66 ammo. What's going off? Oh, no, sorry. I also get um, ammo with um, Ricochet as well. So we're going to go and try. We're going to go and... Have a gank down here. We're going to level up our X as well. On these bridges. Well, let's let, 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 let's stay clear of trying to um, give people gameplay tips. So here we are. You're dead. And there you go. It's pretty easy to do ganks. We're going to actually try to push this lane as well now. And you don't even have to do anything. Obviously, some characters have got hard CC, so if they have, you kind of can be a bit screwed. Stop you. So you're just going to push C a bit more. Never see me. Again, you have jungle camps. I don't know if this is relevant to this video. Probably not. Oh, hello. Again, we've got 91 bullets now. There you go. I don't know why we didn't... And I'm dead because I've just been an idiot. I'm trying to fight within the minions, guys. And it's not like League of Legends where, where you can just fight within a minion wave. You will die, unfortunately. But but again, guys, I, I kind of don't really... We'll go Duration Extender. We're not going to die again, so we've got 2,300. We're just going to save up now for Ricochet. I don't know why my bullets have actually gone up to 74 now. Maybe I get more ammo as a... Why have I actually got more ammo? I looked a bit back in it. I don't know. We'll speed boost anyway. But again, guys. You know, Haze is really, really fun to play. But yeah, Hayes is incredibly fun. I love playing as Hayes. She's my favourite character. Come on. Come on, dudes. Are you coming or what? Should be able to melt these pretty quickly. You can really push and take objectives really, really quickly with Hayes as well. 74 bullets and then you get another 74 when you do the E. You can actually sat send these to sleep as well with your Q ability. Right, here you go. You're dead. I probably didn't even need to ult there. But again, the game is nearly over now. Okay, we've actually put them to sleep, but their ult still goes off. I've, I've always thought that's a bit weird. 
I need to get some... Oh, that was lucky. I was like, my life still needed to kick in. I thought I was actually going to die again then. Yeah, we should be fine now. So just for the purpose of this video, we've got enough now to actually... Zip line back. Yeah, we can zip line right back now. And we can actually upgrade our C ability. Or if you want to be correct, fixation. Okay, so we get ricochet, which is basically it does what it says. Damage ricochets onto other enemies as well. Which is very, very good. Well, well, we'll actually read it while we're going. Well, basically, 35% more ammo, 12% fire rate, 150 bonus health, and then you get a 60% ricochet damage as well. So we're just going to push everything here. I don't think we're going to have much time to be able to you know, showcase what this is. Let's just try to show you over here. See stuff ricochets to other enemies. I don't know where all the enemies have just decided to piss off to. And there you go, guys. That is how to play Haze. Not my best game. Not going to lie. It's not my best game. It's probably one of my worst ones. Um, but again, I think I've told you everything you need to know about Hayes, um, how to play her. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you got right until the end of the video, I appreciate you taking the time to um, watch this video. But again, if you've got right until the end of the video, for the algorithm, guys, just to help push this um, video out to more people, just let me know in the comment section who is your favorite character to play in the game. Cheerio. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.